Who's who? Who? You do something to me that I can't explain. Hold me close. Who's who? International music duo from South Africa. They cover music from broad spectrum of genre as well as original music. So my name is John and I'm Nandi and together we are the duo called Fuzu from South Africa. From South Africa. <laughs> yes. And we're currently based in Dubai. Um, yeah, we've been in the UAE now for what, nine, nine months? months. Yeah, nine months. Oh, only nine months. Yes. Only nine. Brand in new. the country. Yes. Okay. I thought you've been here for a long, long, long time. No, 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 no. no okay. not at all. But we've, yeah, we've. Um, we arrived October last year and started performing in Abu Dhabi and some places in Dubai. Russell came up. And then after four months, we got nominated as Best Band in Abu Dhabi by Time Out Magazine, okay. which in our book is quite an achievement. Yeah, it's um, yeah, quite um, yeah, fun, guys. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. it, it, it's a big honor after four months to be nominated as Best Band in Abu Dhabi. Yeah, when you re really knew it, and then you, you've been uh, nominated. It's Yes, it yes. means that you're really good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope so. <laughs> Which is having a party and the people love it. <laughs> <laughs> how did uh, the group uh, put it together? I mean, how it become us? Who's who? Okay. So, back in South Africa, uh, we were introduced to each other via a radio station. Uh, some of Nandi's Nandi's songs were playing on radio and some of my songs and the presenter um, said, you know what, I think you guys maybe you should work together and um, she introduced us to each other and yeah, yeah we got together was, one day and then we decided, wow, it sounds good, let's give it a try and yeah, yeah we were very, very successful. Yeah, and we've been together four years now as, mm -hmm. as a duo called Who's Who and um, We've been very successful. We've got an album out. Um, they play a lot of our original music on a lot of radio stations in South Africa, America, um, all over the place. What is uh, the genre of your music? What usually you okay? You so yeah, so we do sixties, seventies, eighties. We do English. We do Afrikaans. Country. Our repertoire is uh, six hundred plus songs, if not more. We try and cover. Um, as much as we can when it gets to genres and stuff. So we really yeah. try and cover all of that so you can yeah. keep everybody happy. Yeah, so we do we do from country, we do rock, we do A C D C, we do Patsy Klein, we do hey. the Beatles, <laughs> we do the Eagles. You know, we do We do who's who. We do who's who stuff. In your career, what is the challenges that you encountered? Wow. There's they a lot are. of great bands out there that yeah. you need to keep up with. Um, great bands that you need to keep up with. So, yeah, I don't know. There's, yeah, there's huge challenges in yeah. the industry, you know. First of all, coming to a foreign country to try and establish yourself as an artist or musician in a, in a new country, it, it's, it's difficult and it's challenging. Um, you know, a lot of obstacles that you face. It's like in South Africa, for example, you you can go to any venue and go and perform at any time. Yes. Whereas in the UAE, it's different. You need a permit for every performance. Uh, you need contracts. That's um, so that is one of the challenges that we find. Um, the other thing is also, you know, people not getting back to you. Um, because we're very, we're very proactive. We like to make things happen. 
We never sit still. We never sit still. We're always on the go, speaking to venues, doing this, doing that. Um, Advertising. We do a lot of advertising uh, and promoting. To give you an example, in South Africa, we are that popular that if you do not book us at least three and a half months in advance, we can't help you. Uh, you're really strict uh, in the, the booking. Yeah, yeah. And and we are that busy with so many bookings in South Africa that if you do not physically phone us and say, okay, I'm booking you for that date, at least three months in advance, we can't help you. That's how busy we are. You know? Okay. Um, why why uh, did you uh, go to Dubai? Why uh, not other countries? For us, for us, it was about. Living. It was meant to be because this yeah. was discussed right at the beginning when we met. Yeah, yeah, it was a discussion. Um, and it took us, it took us three years to to make the final decision to actually come. But looking at things like safety and you know standard of living and all that type of stuff back in South Africa uh, was a major problem with safety and. And things like that, and and for our own safety, we decided to come to see. To come but see we always Dubai. say that we want to go to Dubai and then we go perform in Dubai. Especially, I don't know why, but Dubai was mentioned from yeah. the beginning. Yeah, because uh, there's a lot of country, you know, yes. and, and yes. especially entertainers. You can go anywhere that you want. Sure. Yes. Yeah. I don't know why it just worked out very good. Yeah. yeah so it, yeah, it was a uh, it was a decision, but it took us. From the time we started New Zoo, it took us three years to finally make the move and say, right, now the time is right, let's go. It's because we were too busy in South Africa. We didn't get to make that move. Yeah. We were too busy. So we decided, okay, we'll wait for the month, one month that we weren't that busy, and then we'll make the move. That's how we... How about it? during your performance? Do you, do you uh, encounter uh, some challenges, problems during your performance? Performance. Not really. Um, you know, we we set up everything and we get up and we perform. You know, now and again you'll have a, maybe a little bit of a technical issue or whatever, but we pretty much sort everything out. Uh, and we just get on with the show. No complaints. We were very lucky until up to now that people were always happy with the music we make. And we never, never had a complaint. And uh, what is the most memorable moment? In your career, in our career, wow. yeah. Well, it, a, when it gets to tours in South Africa, there was this. Um, it was, we always went to Botswana. For me, hmm. that tour was the most memorable. Um, it's, I don't yeah. know, it's, it was it's such lovely people, and um, it was it was such an experience. Yeah, so, and I Botswana think another. Tours were for me. Yeah, another another big highlight of. Um, our career basically is when we launched our first album. That was huge. Yes. And then obviously our nomination from Time Out magazine yeah. in Abu Dhabi. That was that was huge. There were different cases in you know in South Africa than the the yeah. East and yeah. the UAE. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it's been a journey. Mm -hmm. I, think, it's been a I think the whole who set up has been a journey yeah. for us. And, and don't get me wrong, it's been it's been extremely rewarding, but it's also been extremely tough, especially with, with the whole COVID situation. You know, we were we were only here for like four and a half months when COVID started and all the music got stopped and obviously the entertainment was the first to be cut. And yeah, hence we sat without without any form of income for almost six months, um, which was very tough to try and survive in a foreign country with no support base and things like that as musicians. It's been tough. But you know what? Inshallah, the cases are coming down and I think the government's got it under control and slowly, slowly things are starting to get back to normal. So hopefully the entertainment industry will, will survive. Lucy always makes a comeback. Yeah. <laughs> because
because the minute the minute they stopped live performances, we started doing online performances. And yeah, we we were live streaming like twice a week, and up to two and a half, three thousand people watching us from all over the world. Which for us is absolutely fantastic. Our social media followers were very happy during this time. Yeah. We never stop. How? Uh, why who's who? A lot of people ask. Yeah. How? Okay. So. When we first got together as a duo, we were talking about different names and things like that. And we said light of resistance and the resistance to light and this and that. And eventually I said to Nani, what about Double and Trouble? She said, wow, that's a good name. But the people are going to ask, who's Double and who's Trouble? <laughs> and I said, well, then we just who's? tell them we don't know who's in. <laughs> who's Double? And who's trouble? Yeah. So, well, you know, we just tell them we don't know who's who. And that's where the name And we came. still don't know. Four years later, and it's. Yeah, still we still don't know. Who's who. <laughs> and, and the, there's uh, international, right? Who's yes. who international? international yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, why, why you put the. It because was always who's who until we came to UAE. Yeah. So we changed it to who's who international. Yeah, because we, we no longer local. We, we ventured into international, so that's why we've now called it Music International. As entertainers, as uh, as professional in your career, what can you advise to those who started? Yeah, build a following. Social media in these days yeah. are so important. Social media, get a following. Very important. Yeah, that's one of the very important things. Build your following. Um, the other very important thing is perseverance. You know, the entertainment industry is not easy. But it's stay humble. Yeah. Always stay humble. Very important point. Very important point. Stay humble, build a following, and persevere. Don't ever give up. Yeah. yeah. It's hard work. You just need to keep it up <laughs> all the time. I've been doing this for 40 years. Nandi's been doing it for about 16 years now. Um, but it's tough. Do you want to share more about uh, about who's who, about as a person, uh, as you? Do, do you want to, to give your own uh, own word? Uh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. These always just. Yeah, we 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 a duo. We love doing what we do. Uh, yeah, now you know, I think what who's more about who's who is we are a, a kind of a duo that likes to perform classics. So a lot of people think we we do like the modern kind of, uh, kind of stuff. We, we like doing the classics, the songs that people love to hear. So I was raised with old music and today I have a love for old music and the same as Charlie so we're putting it together and that's what music is all about yeah. all about old classic people that can sing but, along and, and I think I think that's what sets us apart from a lot of other people mm -hmm. they, they want to do all the latest boom boom music and, and things like that that's not what we're about we are a classic duo we do from country to rock and roll, all, all the, the songs that people grew up with, and even today, the young generation of today, they can associate with the type of music we play because they've heard it. So, yeah, that's that's what we are. Somewhere in their lives, their mom and dad maybe listen to it. So they all know this music. But for your, uh, as your own personal uh, music, what, what do you like most? I'm like a the, country girl. I love my country music. He's the rocker. I'm the rocker, so I'm... I'm you also sing. Yes, we yes, both yes. We, sing. Both, we both sing. We both sing. We play... I play guitar and vocals, and Nandi does the keyboard. She plays the ukulele. She plays with her shakers and the tambourine. And, you know, from time to time, I'll yank out my drumsticks and I'll bang on the tables with the drumsticks. And, but Back in the day, Charlie was a drummer. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I started. I started my music career as a drummer many, many years ago. Uh, so, yeah. But but I'm the rocker. 
And then you combine it. And we combine it and we do everything in between. But yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> uh, this is the last one. I hope I, I didn't forget anything. Yeah. Do, do you want to add something? We have people. Okay. Can you, um, can you uh, invite the viewers to watch your uh, show? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes, guys, if, you, if you're if in the area, come around to the Exit Sports Bar on a Tuesday and a Thursday night at the Mercure Hotel. Um, it's right next to Dubai Internet City Metro Station. Come and see us perform. Come and have a good time. Yeah, come listen have a joke with us. Yeah, come listen to some classic music. <laughs> you won't be sorry. Who's Who International? Performing live every Tuesday and Thursday, starting from 8 p.m. onwards, at the Exit Sports Bar, Mercure Dubai Bar Shahite Hotel Suites and Apartments in Sheikh Syed Road, near Dubai Internet City Metro Station. For reservation, call 05 2201 0437. Oh!